Good morning. Hey, good morning. I hope you guys are doing great. So it's early in the morning. Um, and since last night, I have um, just a couple of projects I have to work on this week. And I've been working on them, right? Last night I was reading and, you know, it's like, how can I work through the issues that I have to work through? Still keeping a positive vibe. Which, let me tell you, sometimes it's not easy. It's not. Especially when people don't know you or they hesitate to work with you. But you have a job that needs to get done. And you always try to make it, um, you know, always have a positive spin to things. Sometimes it's not possible. However, I always have to find a way. Well, I like to try to find a way. I like to think there's a way to work with the issues even if you have to work through unpleasant situations where everything is possible. Okay? The only way I know something is not possible if it's if I've already tried it and it didn't work out. And that only means that what I tried, the way I implemented something was not possible. That doesn't mean that somebody else can um, can I come in and make it happen? Okay, so anyway, so last night I have this book that I always keep with me, and I have a couple of books that are like um, very important in my library, and this is one of those books. And I have some stuff marked down. This is a great book, I like to again look for the positives and make out of something difficult something that you can work with okay so anyway so when i was reading last night i came across something that i had highlighted in the book and i wanted to share with you guys because i think this is something that when we're working in a team environment or we're starting out a team is very helpful to keep in front of us Okay, so the first thing is, there was three questions that the book refers to. I changed them a little because the way they were describing it here was for a specific scenario. So I changed it so that it can be used for any kind of scenario when working in a team environment. So the first questions, the, the first question to a successful team is, do I believe, this means you, you, you're part of a team. Do I believe that the skills of my co-workers are not fixed, but can be improved with effort? Sometimes we're like, I don't trust this person can do it. So, number one question. And then you can twist this and say, do you believe this about yourself? Do you believe uh, on your skills that your skills are not fixed and can be improved with effort? Do you believe in yourself? Sometimes for others to believe in ourselves, we need to believe in ourselves first. What about your managers? Do your managers believe that you can improve your skill set if you put in the effort. Sometimes we believe in ourselves, our co-workers believe in ourselves, but whoever is managing us do not think so. And that's very discouraging, right? If we think that somebody who's leading us doesn't really believe in us. The second question is, do I believe that my co-workers want to make the effort just as they want to find meaning and fulfillment in their jobs. And do you think if I turn into work going, oh, I hate this. I don't want to be part of this team. Every day, the same thing. I'm just being real here. This sucks. Okay. 
Do you believe everyone's like that or do you believe that the people around you are really trying to make an effort and they want to find a meaning of fulfilling their jobs? Now ask yourself, are you making the effort? And then for managers is, do you believe in your employees? And then the third question is, you can believe this, or are you actually conveying your beliefs okay, in your daily words and actions? Because if you're trying to put in the effort when you come into the office going, Monday. Another meeting. I don't have time for this. Oh, changing the process again. Oh. Ninety years. Oh, they changed this, and I hate this. I don't have time. Okay, employees. Now we have to do this. Oh. Okay. How are we conveying our beliefs to those around us? Because one thing is to say something, another thing is to act on it. So you can be saying everything is positive, ah, positive, positive, bah, 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 bah. but then you're banging stuff on your desk. You, you might be saying you love to be in the team environment, but you never participate in meetings. You never want to participate in any team activity. So, the other thing, you might be like, yay, we're buddies, and have a smile and love those things on your face, but at the same time, you're saying, this sucks, I hate this, I hate being on the team, why do they keep bothering, why they don't leave me alone? So, anyway. I leave you guys, leave you ladies and gentlemen, with the three questions. I think they are nice questions to just keep in mind, like somewhere on your desk where you can reflect on what you're doing, and then reflect how you're treating each other and how you're moving forward as a team. So anyway, have a great, great Monday. Bye.